Hello and welcome to video assignment three, dynamics. Now in dynamics we do a lot of things to do with forces. Now a force is just an interaction between two things. When dealing with forces, to figure out what's going on it's always helpful if we draw free body diagrams. For example, me standing here right now, I'm not moving. My acceleration is zero. That means there must be some forces acting on me that are keeping me in place. I'll let you know I'm on planet Earth, so there is a force of gravity. So if I were to draw a free body diagram for myself, it would look something like this. I represent myself with a box with a dot at the center of my mass. And now I have the force of gravity trying to pull me down. And I also have a force that's holding me in place. Now I'm standing on a surface. Anytime you're on a surface, there's a force perpendicular to that surface called the normal force. Now these two forces should be equal in magnitude because I'm not falling to the center of the earth, nor am I rising up to the ceiling. Now, if we look at a little more complicated example, we can take a bag and I can take a sandwich and put it in the bag. Now if I wanted to draw a free body diagram for my sandwich bag, moving up at a constant velocity, it's going to look something like this. So I have my force of gravity acting on the bag, and I also have a force causing it, preventing it from falling down. Now this is an applied force because I'm doing the work. Now, notice when I lifted the bag, I said it's moving with a constant velocity. Well, that means acceleration has to be zero. In order for acceleration to be zero, these two forces must cancel each other out. So that means, even though the bag was moving up, the net force is going to be zero. Now in a moment you're going to have to figure out how to draw a free diagram or sorry, free body diagram for yourselves. Again, all the questions from this assignment are in the description of the video. Also, you can find helpful hints and resources in the description as well. Now, this next video not only is going to test your knowledge of free body diagrams, but in case you ever wondered, it's going to teach you how to catch a kangaroo. So enjoy and I'll see you back in a few minutes.